All right, guys, so welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I actually went to sleep and purposely woke up during the morning because typically I start the episodes during the noon because the sun is out shining and everything is really vibrant. But there's something about these really early mornings in this game that are just absolutely fantastic. You can actually see the fog in between the rays of the sun and all the bugs flying around, which is not all that pretty. But listen, it is what it is. We are out in the wild. And today, today is going to be a busy day because today we have today we have more main missions than ever. And as most of you know, we've been tackling a lot of side missions and just overall doing a lot of extra stuff, which it's still part of the agenda. But today we have a lot of important things that we have to take care of. Now, I'm also uploading this video. It's the third one of the week because this weekend I'm probably going to be very busy. So I told myself I, I got to get this video out there in case I don't have time for the weekend. Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate all the love and support. I, I still cannot believe how well these videos are doing considering that this is not my first rodeo. Okay? I don't know if that's actually considered a pun or not, but... Arthur is sexy and that is a random comment but damn it it's the truth and that's my beautiful horse shitting again great that is just I don't understand it man so guys take a look at the map okay we're relatively close to our camp we've got two here we've got John Marston and then we've got Jose over there so we're gonna start off with Dutch and then we're gonna we're gonna go straight to Bill I feel I think excuse me. I think <laughs> I think Bill Williamson's mission is actually um a bank robbery, which is one of my favorite missions. It's yeah. freaking awesome. Hey, who are you? Uh what do you mean who am I? Sadie? I Arthur, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew he would call he would tell Sadie that. Oh god, that is amazing. This is why I love this man. He doesn't give a crap, man. He doesn't give a crap, man. Okay, so we're gonna go to. I know we gotta go speak Morning, to Dutch. Good Morning, Charles. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. Arthur. Hold on, woman. All right, we're gonna donate some food because the, the camp. Really use some good meat for the, this the, stew. The camp needs uh. Camp needs food, man. Don't you overcook this now, bitch. I don't know if this is gonna do anything for the camp, but I feel bad for my people. Besides, let, let's let's be honest here. Ain't nobody cooking this. I'm not cooking this. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Crafting upgrades. Now nah, we're good. We gotta go to the the trapper eventually, man. We really, really do. Arthur, Arthur. And I gotta start hunting more. I said I I think I mentioned that on the last one, but here we go. Well, now, you Ooh, yet, I'm excited. Of course, I'm sweating. Magicians for We're sport. In some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So, so. I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Look at the rays, man. Look at the sun rays. <sighs> By the way, I'm still finding it a little bit difficult to speak because of my the, the cold that I was going through. I'm already getting better. You might hear my my voice a little weird still, but it's it's like it makes it hard to talk. It should be good to go within the next within the next few days. Random, I know. I'm sorry. Here we go. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Charles has always been one of those characters. He's always with it, bro. I love him. He's always down with it. All right, Mr. Charles. Try to uh Trelawney's location. There goes Charles's horse. A Dalmatian horse. Taking a shit. Man, all these horses taking shit. 
Bill's got to wash his horse, man. Things dirty. Oh, okay. So let's just go. Uh, is he gonna come with or what, what's the deal, Charles? Come on, man. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play him like a fiddle. On the run from one <laughs> bunch of lawmen, working for another. <laughs> Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. <laughs> Sheriff Gray. I forgot the name was Sheriff Gray. That's our name, by the way. <laughs> Uh, these guys are full of shit. Whoa. Alrighty. Okay. There we go, guys. I don't think he's here, right? Oh, there's blood on the ground. Charles, will you move, man? Someone got here first. Oh, no, that's a carpet. A so rug. Seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. I'll check the house, but you better believe I'm, I'm about this to take all this crap. Touched. Looks like you left in a hurry. Somebody is in trouble. What Search do you the think? Drawer desk. Oh, come on, take the cigar. Can't carry any more of this item. Now, I know, I know, I gotta use the, the bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Found anything? Ah, the eagle eye for the clues, but. I want to see if I can pick up other stuff. There's some blood here. There ain't see, but... I, I don't want that to happen. All right, so we've got that little drawer cabinet in the corner. Is there anything else in here? Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. All right, hold on, Charles. Hold the frick on, man. Oh, look at the reflection on the mirror. Very nice. Come on, before they get too far ahead. Man, will you relax? I'm a master at this. Yep. You want to lead the way? We went down the path here. Okay, focus on the How's tracks. How's tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well. Lead the way then. Not oh. the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew <laughs> that's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find him. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Hmm. Oh! Morning, Harvey. Right, where are the tracks going? Hold on, hold on. Did I lose the tracks? Yes. Perfect. The tracks head up that path. What are you getting off for? 
What do we have here? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come here. Don't do that. Don't do that. I said don't do that, you little biatch. Don't do that shit. Oh, oh. You don't fucked up with the wrong man. Shut, shut. Charles kick his ass. You stay there. I was really hoping I could get a fucking shotgun and blow his brains out. Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Oh, you don't. Tell me where he is. Okay. You go to hell. One question, one beat down. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. I don't remember Which this. Cornfields. Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again. You hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. <laughs> Trey, little punk ass. Look at this dumbass here. And I knocked him cold. 20 bucks and a platinum band. Damn, that was worth beating his ass. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Hello there. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. <laughs> he don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Sounds about right. Now look at this. Shoot. I don't know if you guys, I think I mentioned this previously. I don't know if you guys have seen the, the, the show Westworld. But that, that show reminds me of Red Dead. It's about really rich people that go into like this like park that takes you back in time to like fucking, you know, the Western days. And then everybody inside there is actually robots, but they don't know that they're robots. Um, and then eventually they find out that they're robots. It's crazy. Westworld. Insane show, dude. I'm so I swear, I'm telling you. Let's get you out of here. Come 
Oh, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh. 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 Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so I, you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't let them get away. Couldn't hold them anything. They've got to the field. We need to flush them out. Oh. How do we shoot again? Hey, take over here. Stop hiding, you coward. I know there's a way we can shoot up, but. I don't know if that does anything come for us. On, where are they? Listen, if you don't come out now, I'll pull out my shotgun and rip your heads off. Oh, he's right there. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> oh, you think you slick, Saka? You, you think you slick, huh? Ugh. Fucking love one that. More, one more to go, Charlie. Oh, that's, what is this? Okay, the birds. Where are the birds? Hey! I see something on the ground over here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Charles. Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's mine. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Fucking throwing knife. <laughs> you should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Ah! I got a hit. Not a problem. I have to take some uh, vengeance, if you know what I mean. It's all about vengeance, baby. All about fucking vengeance. Where is he? Oh, he's back downstairs. Oh, oh, you want a piece of this? I gotta kick you. Be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure hmm. don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. So I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. All right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? <laughs> He's over there. Here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. 
course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to mm. camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Mm-mm. I have, uh, I've got to be honest, I have forgotten about that guy. I really had. Oh, it seems to be more. More and more civilization. I love this. These narrations. I want to get back in the open country of the West. Or what's left of it. But well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Look at this, man. beautiful okay so that's um that's our satchel our journal here we go so this is when we arrived here damn bro look at all this stuff we haven't even read through the journal Look at that. We got to catch up on the journal. What do you guys think? You guys think we need to catch up on the journal? This is from Blackwater. And hold on. Let's let's read the first page here. So Blackwater says about this new journal. So the last one got destroyed in the fire and all those months ago. Uh, whenever it was. Haven't written in our... Or, haven't written or drawn much in the past few yeah, months, but I was missing time. it more than I thought I would. And I finally near a store. And I'm finally near a store, so here I am, I guess. After all that business up north and the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down from the northern grizzlies. <laughs> Stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter. Food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had a lead uh, for for some land we were going to buy, but the land did not match up to this criteria. Or he got spooked. Uh, or he got spooked. We were being watched by the law and uh, that somebody knew who he was. And we never bought it. And well, we we're wondering still. We picked up a couple of new folks in the Grizzlies. Jenny, a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside, and Micah, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar someplace. Dutch seems very taken with Micah, who is pretty hot-headed, uh, argumentative, argumentative, and full of himself. Jose and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually, we came out of the wilderness and are now pulled up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. I should have done this, man. So Blackwater still. I might be onto something. We got plenty of money. And the trail we took was so uh, torturous and slow, nobody could have followed us uh, south and east or figured out where it was that we were heading. We were thinking about California, but Dutch and Jose brought us down to Blackwater. Fucking Blackwater. Blackwater has apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was uh, last here. I was told uh, to expect a little more than a trading post. But the place is growing fast, and it is almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corrup uh, corruption, but there is certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living in a more civilized life after so long under canvas. But I do not particularly like being this near to a town. Uh, we're going to read these last two pages here. Uh, we are living here. Camping outside town mostly. Hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marson keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He not seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy. Or not. The arguing uh, the arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounding like uh, Trawani, But we haven't seen of him in many months. <laughs> Jose and I are into something, something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with the real estate scam Jose thinks 
he may have discovered. I'm not sure yet. The perfect crime, we think. One where we can rob crooks. We are being real careful. It's fun working with Jose again. The man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it. We're having an amusing enough time. Man. I gotta finish this part here. Hold on. There's a lot of reading. Alright, cool. Here we go. We're gonna go up to this part. I'm sorry, guys. I hope this is not too bad. Alright, so it's good to be running scams again. Hosea is a born huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that uh, lingering in town, we're going to be uh, bringing under undue attention to ourselves. But Dutch thinks he is also onto something big. His words, not mine. Bank money being brought into my boat, apparently. So for now, we are working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. This all just tells you the backstory of what happened in Blackwater. It gives you a better perspective of the story of these guys. Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's uh, uh, Latin and riches. Cash coming in from the banks, coming in by boats. For once, I'm not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well. And Dutch seems confident that the group assembled, all will be okay. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Jose and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places. All right, so we're going to end it here, okay? And we'll, we'll continue. Let me know if you guys want to see more journal. More journal readings. Man, that was fucking great stuff. We'll continue there. All right. It's got to be, what, like morning right now? Early morning? Look at this, man. It's like a real fucking town, dude. It's nuts. Well, hello. Come on in. Oh. hello there, sir. Hey, no customers over there. Uh. Hey, that area's for me only. What? Go around the back. Mister, I've been trapped down here. I've been kidnapped. Why are you dressed up like that? I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. Wait, wait. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. What? You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. What? What'd you forget, Fran? Oh, hey, that's a piss poor move. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Oh. All right, all right. Oh, God, this is awesome. Got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Bro! You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the <laughs> store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. <laughs> Shit. Please, please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Don't he? Can I hog tie him? You bad. 
bastard! Why couldn't you stay out of this? Ah. Don't listen to that maniac. He, he ain't my father. I can't lose him. Oh. Not again. Yo, what the fuck is that? He shoot through these shackles. I, I can't spend another day down here. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? <laughs> that crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Oh my god. Come on, please. How the hell can I be his son? No, the chain. Shoot the chain. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. That sick son of a bitch kidnapped me, made me pretend to be his son. I owe you for this, mister. It was all perfect and you ruined it. Yo. No, no, no. What? Yo, this guy's fucking sick. That was his son. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I loot him? Fuck it, let's loot him. This is uh, very kind of you. Inspect document. This one's drawing. Aww. Where's the sun? I mean, bro, I get it. You lost your son, but my boy, you're sick in the head. Oh, this was so fantastic, dude. I'm so happy I found this. I'm gonna rob his ass. Fuck yeah. Look what he did. Look what he's been doing, man. Oh, no, that's bad honor. I'm sorry. What do we have here? Oh, he's a hunter, huh? Bro, this is so dope. Wow, man. Hell yeah. A little shady ass town. Come on, girl. Oh. Sorry. I let him tied. Uh, I left him tied down in the basement. So when I come back, maybe, maybe he'll be like still there or something. I don't know. He probably won't be. But man, what the f horse flesh for dinner? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. We'll get back to a regular scheduled programming here, guys. I'm sorry. I just got amazed with that little mini side drift mission we just went through there. Good man. That was like you. fucking awesome. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. Who are you? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son. The sheriff? Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. 
My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the map. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Mm, okay. About to rob some horses. Yeah, man, that was such a cool little thing back there at the shop. Dude was dropped and no he's literally in front of the sheriff's office Crazy and nobody knew a damn thing. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we going to play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Or too many questions. Interesting. Forward. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with me. Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Hmm. Someone will come see you. Look at John. I hear maneuvering his tongue like that. Damn it, Johnny boy. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Nice. All right, let's hitch up here. We are here. Nah, 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 Javier Escuela, you go on. God damn it. Fine, I'm here by myself. Let me do the talking. About to take a look at some good horses, boys. Y'all ready for this? Welcome to the good life. Sit back, relax, and don't relax because it's about to get bumpy. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your police are good. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. 
Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly, till he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. Boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but uh, red, right? He'll produce another winner. Just look at those balls. <laughs> Greet. <laughs> ah, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Damn, I should have let Javier kill him. <laughs> should have let Javier kill him. <laughs> Greaser, huh? Relax, boy. Come yeah, on. see, this is a white whoa, Arabian. Whoa, whoa. Easy now. Whoa. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Easy, easy. Whoa. <laughs> easy. It's okay, buddy. What are you doing? Let's go <gasps> quick. <laughs> Get going, you two. I'll watch the what rails. The <laughs> Oh shit! Out of the fields? No, I want no part of the fields. Right in the dome. Oh, nasty! Wild horses. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Look at that black Shit. stallion. One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll I get just him. I just spoke his damn name. Yeah. Last of the stallion. Yeah, come here. Hey, hey. Okay. I'm an idiot. Come on. Let's go. Yep. I'm gonna ride this one and I'll and I'll I'll have my horse follow. Just to make it probably quicker, I would I would assume. Hey Morgan! Over here! You go! 
got him. Well done. Oh, look at that. Just over there. Come it's got on. a little mark and everything. Let's get this over with. And yeah, that brown horse. This guy was right. Look at the balls well, on that one. That could have gone smoother. That'll Sheesh. be on my gravestone. Excessive XXL balls. You look at the look, look at the engraving on this one. Paying five thousand for horses. The B right yes, there. We'll see. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, I remember these guys. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. No shit. <laughs> John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. Fuck you, I don't That's like so. you either. Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it. Or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. <laughs> $5,000. Oh, God. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Man, I really enjoy those like narrations by by Arthur. I wish we would have I wish we'd have more of them. So you can sell horses to Cl uh, Clay and Clive at uh, Clemens, uh, Clemens Cove. We'll pay more than a stable for stolen horses, but less for purchased horses. Look at this. He just wandered in. Hi, my <laughs> friend. Hi. Well, then he's ours, I guess. For now. Aww. That's so great. You okay, boy? Come here, buddy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. <laughs> He probably did something bad. Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Such a pretty freaking dog. <laughs> Aww. Look at little Jack, man. A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Arthur. A dog. A dog. <laughs> He's so cute. All right. Let's go to Bill Williamson. Let's go to fucking Bill. Where's Bill I at? This, you. When are you going to let me take you out for an evening into town? You know, to a like Mr. A Morgan. Show. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. Oh, nonsense. My life. Again. How about tomorrow? Well, maybe one day you'll save my... Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Anyway, it what? wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this. Horror money. From one of those awful oh, men. You, you horrible man. This guy's in fucking peeing with the conversation. Although I will accept the damn watch. But did you see what happened? Thank you. <laughs> did you see what happened with this you guy? Blind drunk. <laughs> This guy, uncle, was asking this chick for a date. And then he's like, I got to look my best. Can I have some money? <laughs> what a fucking bomb, dude. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. All right, where is Bill Williamson, by the way? Not that far. Yo, that was hilarious. Good morning. That was so funny, dude. I need a word with you, Morgan. The fuck? What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy. Mm. But I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Are you serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's mm. worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, what a fucking guy, back. dude. What's the plan then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead. Jesus, what a guy. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right. Follow me. Hmm. Man, Bill's horse is funny, bro. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, hmm. and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. 
I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. Uh -huh. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. <laughs> I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just <laughs> dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. <laughs> Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Man, I didn't realize how long this damn trip was. Jesus. Let's see if on any of these guys have anything to say. Oh. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. <laughs> Not after that night you two had in Valentine. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. It takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Huh? Sketchy as hell, bro. just want to make a suggestion here guys maybe we had to put her bandanas on not then we look suspicious Passing you. After you. I just love how alive this game is man everything is so like Hmm. Okay. Warner. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Hmm. Okay. Go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. What a long time. Valentine. <laughs> so, 
We never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunk in Harlem? Hmm. Drunk. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. <laughs> You're the only one. You're Ooh. a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Bruh. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Madam. Wait till Ooh, she's gotten real dead. Guys like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, no. hands up. No. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Stay hard enough. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here. Unlock the door. Somebody close the front door. Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, oh you think oh, we're here? No, front? No. Oh, come on. Damn, son. Holy oh, crap, oh, Arthur. You assassin. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Don't make me hurt you. How's it looking? I'll, I'll kill Are you. you Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay, okay. Just open the goddamn door. Too goddamn slow. Come on, I'm gonna beat your ass. Son of a bitch, hurry up. Come on. Okay. My guy, open the fucking door. I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God. Damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Crack safe. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you <sighs> better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. Okay, as you rotate the safe dial rotation, I'll slowly. Ah. Perfect. How much time do you think we got? Got one. Not much. It's taking too long. Come on, come on. How are you getting on? I'm going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Huh. Shit. I'll go check the front. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't come on, come on, come on. Chickens just yet. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're getting there. A few more minutes. Perfect. Bro, we're getting mad money right That's here, dude. One clear. <laughs> this is looking good. How much longer? Man, Maybe like there. two minutes. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Nope. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Uh, 
Excellent. Holy crap, man. It's a lot of money. Last one. Five thousand more. Fuck. Got them all. Twenty five hundred. <sighs> hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Make sure there's nothing of importance here, you know? Just never know. I think. Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Oh, they're gonna rat us Everybody out, bro. Stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand? Oh man, this is a heat up. Fuck. Massive heat up. Yo, I was waiting for this shit. Don't shoot my horse. It's probably worth more than your damn bank. Man, this is just asking for trouble, man. This is dumb. This is so bad, bro. Like, we already had so much eyes on our fucking back. Shoot anybody, bro. Look out. More of I'm a good guy, Arthur. Sorry. Thank God for this horse. Shit. So, I guess I'll eat some corn. Where the hell are oh, that was beef. Never mind. See the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Dale, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. <laughs> hey, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Hmm. Right, it's the Dow's Ranch. Now it's funny if you pay attention. This is core. This this mission is branched with um with this other mission, the bank mission, because it's got to do with money, right? And they owe us money. Yeah. 
this is going to be a very interesting situation that we're going to come across here. And believe it or not, this person is a very significant person in the story. If you know, you know. If you know, you just know. You just know. I'm not going to say anything just in case, but very significant person. Now, come on. Or at least her husband was. Man, this horse has really got it fast. Oh, yeah. We're going to go up the trail. <clears throat> Should be right up this way. Let's cut across. And here we go. This is so fucking depressing. Her husband died. It's just her and her boy. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's oh. hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. Damn. Think on that, boy. Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe oh. other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. <laughs> Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Damn, bro. Ah, oh, sucks. Fuck. I forgot he actually took the money. I thought he was just gonna say no. I really forgot that he took the money. Damn, what a douchebag. I mean, I get it. Poor family, bro. Like, as a husband, you can't even die in peace. Because you know your family's still going to be in a position where people are going to keep coming for them. Can't even die in peace. Damn. Uh, ladies, gentlemen, a moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Arthur. They are doing their jobs. Rest of us, but we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> rest of us, rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you. It's this guy, bro. So, I was going to do one more mission, but I... Fun going out and working with you, Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. As I was saying, I was going to do another one, but I know the next mission with Jose is going to be significant. I know it's significant. 
because it's one of the coolest uh one of the coolest missions so i think we're gonna end it here as the sunset just came to a close but man oh man look at the family over there the camp is happy we're all happy we're wanted men damn it but hey life it's just fine. Oh, we just got another mission now that popped up. Look at this. It always sucks when I have to say goodbye. But guys, we're going to end it here. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. The reason I'm ending it too is because it's so late at night. Like the later it gets, my voice gets raspier because your voice just changes when it's really late. Especially since you've been talking all day, commentating. It just gets, it's harder to understand what I'm saying. But, um... Uh, Anyways, that's neither here or there. Thank you. I hope you guys had a good time. As always, if you did, drop it a like. I'm going to try very hard to bring you guys another one ASAP. This is going to be a little bit of a very busy weekend. You guys will see as the days come by. But um, truly, thank you guys, as always. Catch you later.